Hello there and welcome to SNMB Academy. In this presentation, I'll be going through speed, distance and time. So on the screen, you can see two points, A and B, and you can see the three terms, distance, time and speed. Now, let's just first identify what these terms mean. So starting from distance, it's just the length between the two points, so from point A to B. That's the length and that would be the distance. So let's just label it. That's distance between the two points. Okay, so let's just say my distance here is 50 kilometers. Moving on to the next term would be my time. That's how long it takes me to get from point A to B. So how long it will take me to cover this 50 kilometers of distance. So let's just say, let's just say that takes us two hours. So it takes me two hours to cover this 50 kilometers. So that two hours would be the time it takes me to cover this distance. Now moving on to the last one would be my speed. And that's uh, the rate at which, you know, I'm going to travel from this point A to point B. So, th so my speed would be that how fast am I traveling that I can actually cover this 50 kilometer of distance within these two hours. So how fast am I traveling? That would be my speed. And we can actually understand this by, by the formula. So that formula is speed equals to distance divided by time. So how, how fast am I traveling that I can cover some amount of distance in a given time? And this, this is the original mathematical formula. And to make things easier for us, we can actually, you know, present it in a triangle formula to just make us understand a lot better or to, to make a good use of the form to just know how to use it. So this line over here that I've drawn within the inside the, the triangle is a division sign that represents this division sign here. Now whatever's on top of the division sign will be written here exactly the same way. So that's distance is on top. So when I look here, distance will be written on top of the fraction on top of the, uh, the division sign. Now I'm left with the two terms as speed and time. Now these two terms are going to multiply at the bottom part of the fraction. So that would be speed multiply by time. I'm just trying to use the same colors that I've used <laughs> coming from here. So it make us understand a lot better. Okay, so. So distance equals to speed times by time. Now the, way, the reason why we use this triangle formula is to make things a lot easier, especially for the beginners. So if you want to find distance, all you got to do is just put your finger on D over here that represents distance and that becomes your formula. So distance equals to speed multiplied by time. If you want to find your time, you go ahead and put your finger on T and then your formula becomes distance divided by speed. And same thing for speed. If you want to find speed, you go on and put your finger on S, speed, and the formula becomes distance divided by time. So very nice and easy, actually. It's a very good way to use this um, and to understand our formulas. And the good thing is, you know, just for this formula, for any other formulas that you want to help yourself to remember, you can go ahead and present them in a triangle formula. All you're going to have to do is whatever you see on top of the fraction sign, you put on top of the fraction sign here. Anyways, so so this is how we actually understand the concept of speed, distance, and time. Now let's just practice a question in order to make us understand a lot better. All right, so we have a question here. Adam cycled 24 kilometers in two hours. Work out his average speed. Now let's just say he travels 24 kilometers. Let's just draw a line. So that's point A and b so adam travels between this a to b and that is 24 kilometers okay and he covers this that's his distance let's just write that down and he covers this distance of 24 kilometers from a to b between within two hours so that two hours becomes his time so he covers this a to b within two hours so quite slow to be honest <laughs> so 
work out his average speed so now we're working out his speed so how fast was he traveling that he was able to cover this 24 kilometers within two hours so again we'll use our formula so speed equals to distance over time right and or you can just use the triangle formula that we learned so distance goes on top speed and time so if you're working out speed cover you put your thumb on speed distance over time so what's my distance that's 24 kilometers so that's 24 kilometers divided by my time what's my time two hours divided by two and that will give me 24 divided by 2 will give me 12. Now, what is my units? Units will mean my distance is in kilometers. My time is in hours. So I will combine the two units together. That gives me kilometers per hour. So that will be kilometers per hour. So this person is traveling at 12 kilometers per hour in order for him to cover the 24 kilometer distance within two hours. Now... Moving on, let's just try another one where we are actually rearranging the formula. Okay, so this one here. So, this question he says a car travels for three hours. So, three hours becomes my time. And its average speed is about 75 kilometers per hour. So, that becomes my speed. Work out the total distance that the car travels. So, I'm finding my distance. So, how do we find the formula of distance? So, let's just put the triangle formula again. So distance is on top, speed multiplied by time at the bottom. Put your thumb on distance because that's what you're finding out. And our formula becomes distance equals to speed multiplied by time. And then we just look at the question and write the variable values of what each term has. So my speed is 75. So speed would be 75 multiplied by my time which is three hours and that will give us 75 multiplied by three 225 again what's the units i'm finding my distance my speed is kilometers per hour my time is in hours so my distance is kilometers so very nice and simple in which we can just firstly make sure we know what we're finding out and then work out the the formula for it and put in the values